28,835 days. That is the amount of days in the average human lifetime. Now subtract the days you spend sleeping. The days you spend at work. Now subtract the amount of days that you've already lived. For me, that means I'm sitting at around 6,129 days. So what do we do with these days? What do we prioritize and what do we strive towards? What are our goals and aspirations and what holds us back? These are exactly the questions that Will and I created this channel to answer. You see, when you ask a kid what they want in life, you'll hear things like having fun, running around, being silly with their friends and family. When you ask people on their deathbed what their biggest regrets are in life, you often hear a similar tune. They regret not taking chances, not exploring all the places they wanted to explore, not spending enough time with their loved ones. The striking similarities between our priorities as children and our regrets at the end of our lives is not a coincidence. Perhaps it is at the start and the end of our life that we truly have the most wisdom. So let's listen to that wisdom. Let's live our lives without fear and challenge our comfort zones. Let's try new things, learn new things, meet new people, and never count ourselves out. Let's spread kindness to show our gratitude for the things we own and the privilege that we have. Let's engage with strangers because every stranger has a story to tell, a laugh to share. Let's say yes to opportunities. Let's go for it. Like I should knock on his window? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. We were wondering if there's any chance you would let us go for a drive with you in your Tesla. You just want to go for a ride? Yeah. Sure, why not? That's yeah. <laughs> Let's challenge our fears head on and break our own mental barriers because that is the way you grow. Let's dance like no one is watching. Let's have the courage to live our lives true to ourselves, 100% truly and authentically you. Because life is a canvas and only you are allowed to paint on it. So go on, get painting.